Hey everybody, this is your boy Ricky. Be liking my videos and stuff and all that before I we get on to what I'm going to be talking about. If you've been liking my videos, my live streams, and short vids stuff, please do me one thing. Please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, turn the notifications on, and all that good stuff, and share this with your friends and tell everybody you love them. There's going to be more future projects going to be on this channel, like Let's Play Gameplay of Scary Games and stuff. Alright? Just be sure to turn the, noti the noti notifications on so you'll get more content coming out. And you know what I'll be putting out for y'all. Alright? So, here we go. Dexter's Laboratory. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Grimm's Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Curse the Cowardly Dog. Why did I mention those in age four? I'll tell you why. You're on Adult Swim. Starting at five o'clock. Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And they have uh, one of the shows that'll be on from five, five thirty, six, and six thirty. Why did I mention them? Okay. I'll tell you why. We grew up around those shows on Cartoon Network years ago. Dozens of other shows like uh, The Powerpuff Girls, um, Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, all that good shows, Teen Titans, not the ones you see today, um, Justice League, Batman Beyond. All right. So, imagine since now they're on Adult Swim, Adult Swim decided they wanted to bring back those shows with new episodes. Bring back the classical stuff that made Cartoon Network what it is today. But, they do it where it's on Adult Swim. I mean, I mean, I'm an early 92 kid. Born in 1992, alright? Yeah, and that's one of my shit right there. Yeah, I was just like everybody else. I used to watch like Nickelodeon and all that stuff. That, man, that was back in the day. But let me tell you something though. I quit watching Nickelodeon, alright? Jump shift to Cartoon Network. Been watching the Cartoon Network for several damn years now, even today. Okay? That's my go to. I mean, you got Cartoon Network during the day, and then you got Adult Swim at night. Alright? Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is I remember back in the day, the shit cartoon shows didn't last 15 damn minutes. They lasted 30 minutes. Or they'll sometimes have a special where they last longer than, than that. Alright? I, I remember that plainly as well. Man, that was the most classic Cartoon Network days of all time. You had all these shows I grew up watching from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Cur uh, Camp Laszlo, I may not be able to name them all. Oh, Garfield was on Cartoon Network for, for a while on there. And Garfield is older than me. <laughs> you got Toonami uh, that used to be on Cartoon Network that I grew up around. Uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, all those good stuff. Man, amazing stuff back in the day. Okay? Now, for the longest time, you had all those amazing stuff that came on Cartoon Network for well over a decade. 
Alright? And the best part about it was Cartoon Network started back in 1992. Like me. But actually, Cartoon Network's actually been worked on for, what was it, two or three years before then. What I understand, but it, it didn't become in the lot until 92. So, I was born in 92, Cartoon Network was born in 92. So, I'm saying this that they need to reboot Cartoon Network back to the way it used to be. These new shows, I don't understand these new shows at all. They need to get, excuse me, they need to get back to where they last longer than 15 minutes, put back up 30 minutes. They need to revive. revive. These old classic cartoon shows that I grew up around. Everybody grew up around back then that was born born back then. Bring back Pokemon for that matter. Reason why I'm saying this is because look Cartoon Network is special. Always be special right here. You had Toonami. They came out in the 90s. Even though Toonami is based out of Japan. But they brought it over here in the United States. And it was. Toonami is actually based out of Japan. But they brought it over here. And have. Uh, I forgot what his name is. Big time voice actor. I forgot what his name is. Okay. Now, for a while they had this little McGoozy thing going on where they brought you like Code Lyoko, Totally Spies, and I forgot what the other was on. For a while they did slap on some Toonami shows on McGoozy. They did do that, I remember. I remember real well on the Goosey. I remember all those good stuff back then. Toonami left us. But found out it was on Saturday nights. Still on Cartoon Network. Then, they went on Adult Swim and I've been watching Adult Swim like that for a long time now. Or Toonami is on. I mean, I watch the whole story anyways, every now and then. I mean, on the whole story, you got like American Dad, Rick and Morty, and Boss Burgers, and all that good stuff. Now, what I'm saying is, back in the day, they used to be up longer than just 10 or 15 minutes. And I do know that. 30 minute long episodes. Not a minute too soon. Never was just 15 minutes. Okay? Now, I don't understand um, what is the dealio, why they running Cartoon Network like they was. But they need to get it back to the tippity top. Everybody is saying Cartoon Network Classics. So, this is something I grew up around back in the day. You had like Chowder, um, you had like The Amazing World of Gumball in Darwin. You had Miss Adventures of Flapjack. You have Adventure Time of Finn and Jake. All those shows back then. You had the Looney Tunes show where you had like Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck living with each other. The, all the stuff I continue on watching. You had like the Young Justice League. They would do it for a while on there. And 
Heck, I remember back in the day when I was a little kid, still going to school. You know, still with the skew back then. There was Static Shock. Damn, that was a good show. I wish they were to bring that show back. Fuck yeah. And I want to see more DC, DC video games. Too, by the way. By Cyborg and all of them. I know we're getting off topic here. We'll do that talk some other time about what I would love for them to do in DC games. Like with Cyborg, Raven, and them. I'm hoping, hopefully this will get people in a good mood and all this, what I'm talking about. I mean, this is stuff that I grew up around. I want to see them coming back with new episodes and continue on with a legacy. And don't ever wind up, stop doing these new episodes. Episodes of these shows, because these are stuff I grew up around. They need to bring back like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, all that good stuff. Get them back like they once was. Bring back the classics like Camp Laszlo, Hell Johnny Test, all that. You can't say that uh, Curse the Cowardly Dog was scared the shit out of your children if it's on Adult Swim, because kids ain't allowed to watch Adult Swim. But I know a lot of them sneaks and watch them. That's what I read, read on the article on there. Why they canceled the Curse the Cowardly Dog? They said that the parents had to stop because it scared their kids. I think that was just a bunch of baloney, honestly. I think it actually scared the parents more than it did the kids. Honestly. Because some of the parents watched it, probably had a nightmare, but they're trying to say that their little kids had a nightmare. But I never had a nightmare watching Curry's Cowardly Dog. That's one of my all time favorites right there, brother. That's like saying you watch Scooby Doo and you have nightmares. Which reminds me, I was watching Steve. Y'all know who Steve is. I forgot what his name is. Terry Barry, what his name is. Something like that. He, was, he, he had a little thing where he was showing about Scooby Doo on one episode. He said, Ruck Row. Ruck. You know what he said? <laughs> it was funny. Scooby Doo actually said, Fuck. <laughs> I just want to bring that out there. Alright, y'all. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, rather you rather you like the video or whatever. And then, tell me your thoughts on what was your favorite Cartoon Network shows back in the day. Back in the day. And, and would you want to see new episodes of them and all that amazing stuff. Let me know below. Oh, and Cow and Chicken. That was a good show, too. So let me know. Hopefully, this will get some of the people from Adult Swim attention to, you know, make a comment and stuff like that and get revive all these classical cartoon shows. On Adult Swim with new episodes like Teen Titans and all of them. So, thank y'all so much. And I'll catch you whenever I can get my Let's Play gameplay going. I got one in mind. There's a Cartoon Network game on here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing a, a gameplay of. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting when I can. I've been eyeballing that fucking game for a while now. And I'm going to be playing it. So, y'all have a nice, wonderful day, evening, morning, wherever you at. And i catch you when I see you. Another video will drop tomorrow. I can't tell you what it is. And I have another video that will be dropping Saturday. Okay. 
Um, there's already a, been a video that I dropped, and I hope y'all pay watch it and have a nice, wonderful day. Deuce.